Hi everyone, in this video I will be sharing with you how to create a parent newsletter that you can share with your parents by using Google Slides and Remind. So first, I've created this template that was a weekly summary that I would share with the parents each week. And it would have some important information in here um, about announcements or assignments or what we're learning. So the first section just is about things like grades and missing work, maybe some fun stuff that we'll be doing. I also shared with them what they would, the students will be learning that week, what would be assigned, and then some more specific dates on upcoming assignments or important dates for the school. Now, the nice thing about using slides is that it kind of keeps a running record. So each week I would duplicate the slide and that way I could create my new summary, but also have a record of all the previous newsletters that I had sent out to, uh, to, to the parents. Now, to share this on Remind, what you will do is you'll go to File, and then Download As, and you're going to choose to download it as a JPEG or PNG. Either would work. I just feel like by downloading it with an image, it's more accessible to parents than if I were to use a PDF or to just share the link um, from Google Slides with them. So once you've downloaded your image, you'll go to Remind. And if you've not already created a class, you'll create a class by going to Create a Class. You'll pick the name for your class, and it will automatically create a code for you. You'll click Create, and now you'll see it show up on the left side. Then you'll need to add people to your class. Right now I can see that I'm in here, but if I want to add more, I can click Add People. And there are four different ways that you can add people to your class. You can add them manually by putting in their information for them. You can print off um, a PDF of the instructions to share with your students to share with their parents. You could project the instructions in class, or you could share a link with the parents that they could then be added to instantly. Now, another way they can also join the class is by using the Remind app, and that is also a great option as well. Now, once people have been added to your class, you're going to write your first message. You'll click on Messages up at the top left, and then click Message Everyone in Science. There is a default message that will pop up right away, and you can change it if you want to. But you'll see that you've got a bunch of different options on the side. And we'll click Upload Photo or Video. I'll click Weekly Summary, and you'll see that this is attaching it right here. And when I click send, it will send it to the people in the class. So as you can see, it's very easy to use Remind and Google Slides to create a simple newsletter that can increase communication with the parents and students in your classroom.